Synthetic and natural zeolites are actively used for dehydration of industrial oils. These sorbents absorb water well and securely retain it in their granules afterwards. However, upon saturation, zeolites contain not only water, but also oil residues. If such wastes are not properly stored, the oil residues can get into the environment which will cause soil and water pollution. In this video, we will discuss how to correctly prepare zeolite before its usage for dehydration of industrial oils and also what is to be done to the sorbent saturated with water and containing oil residues. Natural zeolite preparation begins with grinding the rock. Next, the obtained particles are dried and dispersed in fractions depending on the size. While the pores of zeolite are not filled, it intensively absorbs water, and it does this not only during intended use, but also during storage. For that reason, it is necessary that zeolite be additionally prepared for dehydration of oil by removing the water from its pores. Globe core technologies for preparation of zeolites are implemented in a drying oven of SSC type. The whole volume of zeolite is distributed across 10 fire pans with each placed in its individual cell of the operating chamber and SSC unit. The required temperature inside the chambers is ensured by means of a low pressure compressor, and its uniformity throughout the volume, by means of blowers. An operator just needs to set the desired temperature by selecting the value from the range of 40 to 450 degrees Celsius, as well as the drying process duration. When the set temperature is reached, the timer starts counting down the exposure time after which heating stops. After zeolite is cooled, it can be immediately filled in sorbent cartridges and used for dehydration of industrial oils. This technology can be also used for drying of silica gels, drying and baking of motor windings, drying of small transformers and electrodes. The task to reclaim absorption properties of zeolite after its saturation with water is more complicated. Zeolite contains oil residues the flash point of which is lower than that required for efficient drying of zeolite, it means that oil ignition occurs earlier than the final moisture removal. Therefore, we divided the process of zeolite regeneration into three stages implemented in BRPS plant. First, Residues of explosive substances are removed from zeolite by purging the zeolite-filled equipment with overheated steam which is supplied by a steam generator. The steam temperature is 100 to 130 degrees Celsius. Flushing products are collected in an auxiliary tank. Next, moisture is removed from zeolite by drying with the air heated up to 250 degrees Celsius. Finally, the zeolite-filled equipment is vacuumized which means that steams and gas vapor mixtures are evacuated using a vacuum pump. Thus, the package contents of BRPS plant, a steam generator, a blower, a heater, and a vacuum pump, ensure complete and safe reclamation of zeolite absorption properties after which it requires no disposal and becomes reused for dehydration of industrial oils. The plant is compact sized and mounted on a wheeled platform which allows connecting the BRPS plant to various equipment and reclaiming zeolite without removing it from the adsorbers, thereby saving the working time. Reactivation process proceeds without mechanical impacts, thus, zeolite can be regenerated many times. What other sorbents do you need to regenerate? Leave your opinion in the comments. For more information, please visit our website www.globecore.com